while many of us think of electric vehicles as those that we might personally drive on a regular basis, but electric-powered vehicles go far beyond just cars and trucks. Municipalities have been thinking about the vehicle they use to service our communities. Join us on this episode of The Real DC Car Guy as we take a look at an all-electric fire truck. <laughs> to experience the Rosenbauer RT, fire and EMS vehicle that many municipalities, including D.C., are considering as they are moving to more environmentally friendly operations. The Rosenbauer RT is an all-electric fire truck that can be used as a pumper truck and carry between 260 and 1,000 gallons of water, and it can bring up to nine firemen and their equipment on a call and all on electric power. No gasoline or diesel needed. Let's hear from Washington, D.C.'s Fire and EMS Chief and the Fire Battalion Chief of Fleet Operations for their thoughts on this EV product, or as they say, apparatus. I'm John Donnelly, Chief of D.C. Fire and EMS. So I think the RT's uh, interesting test concept for the fire department. Um, we've got a lot of hybrid and electronic technology out there and there hasn't been much adaptation to the fire service as an industry. So seeing this out there, seeing what it can do is a big deal for us. Uh, we have to prove a concept before we can really adapt it. And I think that's what this is. Off the top, there is uh, things with noise, size of the engine compartment that are clear advantages. The first thing that struck me on the truck was the in and out, right? It is not a big step up. And we have big steps coming into um, our current apparatus, it causes us injuries and downtime. This is something that, that fixes that. And that's been a challenge for the industry for a long time. Well, it's not even the coming up and down. The, the ride height is like stepping onto a bus, essentially. Yeah. It's smooth. Yeah, so for us, the ability to communicate as we're going down the road, especially, you know, if this is something that we could do without headsets, down the road I, I, is a big deal to me, right? I think that improves communications a lot. We need fire trucks to get to the scene, pump water, carry our medical equipment, that type of thing. We, it also helps us meet when we have in 2030 in the District of Columbia, half of the, or a third of the district's fleet is gonna have to be alternate fuels. We haven't been able to come up with concepts that are working for our fire apparatus. This might be something that helps us meet it. By 2050, 100% of the fleet. So when we buy fire trucks in the last 20 years, we're getting to the point where we have to start buying fire trucks that are gonna last, gonna be in service in that 2050 technology. So it, this is part of a, we hope this is part of a longer term solution. My name is Gary Steen, I'm a deputy fire chief with Washington DC Fire and EMS Department and I'm in charge of the Apparatus Maintenance Division. Excited to be at our Engine 3 with Rosenbauer on their display of their concept fire truck for an electric vehicle. In 2030, one third of the district's fleet has to be electric. We're excited to look at this concept vehicle and entertain the possibility of purchasing electric vehicles in the future. Uh, I'm very excited about the concept of this fire truck and what it has to offer and what the future of apparatus brings for the nation. So I like the ergonomics of the truck. I like uh, the crouching height that it gets down to for inter entry and exit. I like that it also has the ability to be at uh, flood level. The cab, the interior, the room that it has without having the doghouse and the ease of moving around and being able to stand up inside the fire truck is what I enjoyed. It was very quiet when we were riding around in it. Yeah, I was surprised at how quiet the cab was. So it's huge, not only for our firefighters, but for the citizens and the people that we serve in the community, right? Because getting rid of emissions get, takes it away from everyone. That's exciting part about this technology and that part of the driving force and why the mayor signed the memorandum of understanding with the governors nationwide about having to have one third of our fleet be electric by 2030 and the rest by entire by 2050. 
So we have tall marching orders ahead of us over the next 30 years. No other option this far along, right? There, there are models out there that go to zero emissions once you get on the scene and runs off of electricity backup. Uh, but you still have to have the diesel or gasoline motor taking you to the scene, put it in park, and then the battery system takes over. I sat down with the team from Rosenbauer in the shadow of the National Capitol at Washington, D.C.'s Engine Company No. 3, which is also home to the D.C. Fire and EMS Museum, to learn more about this all-electric fire truck called the RT. Rosenbauer is a company that has been making fire apparatus for more than 120 years. While it is a European company based in Austria, their Rosenbauer America operation is based here in the United States and has been operating since the early 20th century in South Dakota, Nebraska, Utah, and elsewhere. The RT was first conceived more than a decade ago, and the truck we saw has been touring for about six years. The first RTs are scheduled for delivery in 2021, with production being done in Austria, and the U.S. plant being outfitted now for production of this all-electric fire truck. The RT is emissions-free on short-range operations of about 60 miles. While some fire trucks run on fossil fuel and want stationary switch over to all-electric, the RT is all electric except for the onboard range extender that operates only when needed to recharge the battery. The RT has flexible charging options with three phase alternating current of 11 kilowatts or 22 kilowatts from a high voltage industrial socket. RT has a charging capacity of 150 kilowatts and the onboard batteries can be recharged quickly. The RT has a small gasoline powered range extender that operates an onboard generator if needed to recharge while on the road. Key points that differentiate this fire truck from other apparatus the departments have in use today. A low center of gravity due to the batteries being located between the chassis rails and the front and rear axles. This means water tanks can be mounted lower as well. A tight 41 foot turning radius due to rear wheel steering, allowing it to navigate narrow streets in older communities. An adjustable height allows for a low step up or step out for firefighters accessing the fire truck, eliminating the physical strain on emergency crews as they move in and out of this vehicle and pull equipment from its many built-in storage locations. The RT operates quietly. Often in emergency situations like a fire, there is a lot of noise, which adds to the stress experienced by first responders. A quieter vehicle allows for easier communication between crews. Vast amounts of advanced technology are on board of the RT, such as monitors and cameras for the vehicle operation, but also connected to the cloud so that remote operations can monitor both the vehicle and the situation surrounding it that the vehicle is responding to. My impression of this fire truck? Well, it looks more modern with its elongated box shape than the fire trucks that we see on our city streets today. I was most impressed with the fact that it has so much space for tools and gear that the firemen need. The biggest thing really is the human-centered design, both inside the cab where the firemen ride and outside where they store their tools. The lack of what is called a doghouse, a term I had never heard before, which refers to the enclosure that would intrude on the inside of the vehicle where the engine would be housed. That is gone with the RT, giving more interior cab space. The electric motors are at the wheels, and those are the same big wheels and tires that you see on any large truck or semi or fire trucks today. What I found out is that American-made fire trucks are revered all around the world, in countries like China, Saudi Arabia, and elsewhere. With about a thousand U.S. employees, Rosenbauer makes a lot of their worldwide product here in the USA, and not only for our communities, but apparatus that is shipped worldwide. I'm glad to hear that there is a movement to convert existing municipal fleets to electric. We've heard from Lordstown Motors, which is working on a pickup truck, and here we see Rosenbauer working on fire trucks.
Now let's hear it for trash trucks and other service vehicles that support our communities, be it in a big city like Washington, D.C., or a small township or village. The future is electric, and I believe we will be seeing a lot of advancement in that area in the coming years. While this was my first experience with a fire truck, and after all, what kid does not think fire trucks are super cool, me included? Thanks so much for joining us on this episode of The Real DC Car Guy. If you like this video, please smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of our upcoming videos. And please feel free to share this video with your friends. Until next time. Thank you.